Hello everybody and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay? So your person here, if this person have never believed in manifesting before, this person is definitely manifesting now. This person is manifesting a new beginning with you. This person can see you in this six of wands energy here. This person can see that everything that you said that you were going to do, you're working on it. Things are going good for you. Things are turning around for you. They're seeing that <clears throat> things could be going on in your career. If you know whatever it is that you do, you could be getting some type of recognition for something. Okay. I just feel like at this current time, you all are... Um, in high spirits, you're high vibing, okay, things just going really well for you right now, okay, so this person, they want to come in and they want to have a victory with you, okay, but this person here, I feel like maybe in the past, this person could have left before you was in this energy here for whatever reason, because I'm not getting that maybe you were in the Six of Wands energy before. This is your current energy. And maybe before you could get to this energy, they left too fast to see your full potential. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm getting. They didn't give it enough time to see your full potential. They went towards something else. But now you're in, you're having this like victory and things are going well for you. And now this person is in this nine of swords energy. This person could be crying. Yeah, this person could, you know, could be very frustrated with themselves because they didn't give into this connection like they should have. Yeah. But now this person... It's in this King of Cups energy here. This person, now they want to come into their emotional side. Okay, so this person might not have been real emotional when you were dealing with them. Okay. But this person now, they want to come in being emotional. They want to show you their emotional side. They want to come in and they want to give you some type of love offer here. Okay, they want to be gentle with you, emotional. This person might come in being a little shy. You may be, I'm getting that. If this is a confident person, you intimidate this person a little bit. So it's like they don't know how to approach you. Like they don't know how to come in and like <laughs> talk to you. It's like you make this person nervous or something like that. That's what I'm picking up too. Yeah. With this six of cups, this is someone that you have already dealt with here. So this is not a new energy with this Six of Cups. This is definitely someone that you have already dealt with. Okay. But this person could be feeling very nostalgic right now. This person is thinking about you a whole, whole lot. They're thinking about the times that you all share the happy times. Okay. They're thinking about uh, the times that you all talked. Okay, they could just even be thinking about how you are towards them, you know, loving towards them. And this person with this Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning with you. Yeah. They want this new beginning with you. But this person, for, for some of you all with this Nine of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles here, I'm getting a couple of things. This person here, when you met this person, they could have already had a family dynamic. They could have already been involved with someone, whether they was married or they was in a, you know, relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend with somebody. With this nine of wands, they could be trying to protect you from something. Maybe they didn't want you to know that they were involved with somebody. Okay. And then... For others, I'm getting, you all could be this one that's in this nine of wands energy. You all could be very defensive 
and very guarded because you found out about this. Okay, so just take it how it resonates. But, you know, I'm picking up two things with that. I feel like for some of you all, you could have found out your intuition could have told you everything that was going on behind the scenes with this person. You didn't have any physical proof, but you all could be tapped in spiritually and your spirit guides told you what was going on. So, you know that this person was dealing with something or someone. And your intuition was right. This person was definitely dealing with someone. And they were hiding it. So this could be you all, like I said, in this nine of wands where you're very defensive and guarded because you know the truth of what was going on behind the scenes, the reason why this person walked away. Okay. And then, like I said, for others, this person is trying to protect you from someone that's in this family dynamic okay that yeah because with this hierophant this this is definitely somebody that was married okay but for whatever reason this person is feeling like they need to protect you from something let me see let me dive a little bit deeper on that on that part because let me see what are they trying to protect you from spirit what is this person trying to protect the collector from in this okay yeah they're trying to protect you from a queen of swords this someone here this cutthroat they very nasty okay this person could like to fight cause drama gossip they just do the most okay so this is what they're trying to protect you from they want to come towards you they want this new beginning with this Ace of Cups. They want this with you. Okay, they do. With this Six of Pentacles here, they want to come in and give you equal give and take. But in the past, they couldn't give you what they really wanted to give you because they was already in a connection. Maybe they didn't, when, when you all met, they didn't think that it, they would, it would go as far as it did. But they caught feelings for you and they started to love you. And they might not even try to love you, but they did okay but this person is trying to protect you from this queen of swords because this person could have found out about you so it's like i don't even feel like this person is emotionally involved with this person i don't feel like it's any love with this person the love lies with you but it's like they didn't do things the correct way you were in the dark when you all were dealing with each other because they never told you about this marriage or this relationship okay and i don't feel like this wife or whoever they was involved with knew about you at first either maybe okay for some of them they they might have did okay but this person for some might could be trying to hurt you or some way or threatening you behind the scenes and this person feel like they got to protect you okay for, and that's for some of y'all but this person they want a ten of cups with you I, if this person was with someone i feel like this person no longer want to be there anymore this could be a situation to where they could have been tied in t together for the kids they could have been to get you know still together financially you know they might go half on bills. Somebody might take care of somebody. You know, they might have vehicles together, a home together. You know what I'm saying? People sometimes stay together with people for financial reasons. Okay, it don't be no love there anymore. They might even sleep in separate beds, separate rooms. You know, it's just a financial thing. But it's no love there. And I feel like this is the situation here okay this person wants to balance things out with you with this chariot here yeah they they do they want to come in and balance this thing out with you and that may be why this person is nervous because they knew that they lied to you in the beginning they wasn't completely honest with you <clears throat> when this person came to you you could have probably thought that this person was single but they weren't this person had a, a girlfriend or a wife 
okay and their intentions probably was not to fall in love with you in the beginning you know what i'm saying they could have been dealing with you because they was dealing with a whole lot at home and what they was you know and it was no love there they was trying to get something that they wasn't getting in their in their marriage or their relationship okay they was financially tied with somebody i feel like they had an obligation with someone but it was no love there so they were searching for something on the outside for whatever they wasn't getting there okay you see what i'm saying and but they love you though the love is with you it's not with where they at they just feel like they're financially tied where they at. if y'all get what i'm saying y'all okay but um uh, <clears throat> this person here i don't I got Knight of Wands and Four of Swords, y'all. I'm I'm picking up two things. Knight of Wands could be someone that's very sexual, very lustful, very immature. They're in and out. They're non-committal. The Four of Swords could be someone that has a bad illness, sickness, needing to take a time out or laying something to rest, y'all. I don't. And then the Knight of Wands can also be an important letter, like someone needing to relay a message so this is two things y'all i'm getting okay so just take what resonates this person could have been in sexual energy and they could have end up finding out they had something and they have to come tell you this before you all could move towards something else if you was to decide to take this person back they have to come in and tell you the truth about this sickness or something and then for others of you I feel like this person want to come in and tell you that they have laid something to rest. That maybe they get a divorce or, you know, they have left something behind or whatever. They have closed a chapter because, you know, you got to close a chapter. You got to end something before you can have a new beginning. So for some of you all, this person was in this lustful energy and they had other sexual partners and they got sick and they want to come tell you about this. But they know they got to tell you this before you all can move forward. That's a story for some of y'all okay now for others of you all like i said i'm getting that this person is wanting to come in and tell you that they have laid their pl their player ways or this lustful energy or whatever this is to rest they don't want to be in this lustful energy or this player energy or whatever this is anymore they have laid that lifestyle to rest they don't want to be deceptive anymore this person sees true happiness with you okay they want marriage with you and happiness with you so like i said if even if they were dealing with someone or other people they they heart was really with you okay they could have been dealing with other people but it was only for sex okay or for uh financial reasons okay yeah this person here this emperor i feel like when this person do come towards you this person is gonna be they're gonna they're gonna be um serious okay they're gonna be they're gonna been and worked on their self okay this person want to come in and they want to be the head they want to lead okay this person want to come in they want to protect you they want to be there for you provide for you you know what i'm saying with this four of pentacles i feel like if you all have been in separation even if this person was in a marriage or a relationship or dealing with other options, this person never let go of you. Spiritually, that th this person never let go of you. This person is holding on to you. And you probably could feel this person's energy. You could think about this person. It's because they're thinking about you. Okay? If you having dreams about this person, because they probably be dreaming about you. <laughs> it's just they're holding on to you energetically. Okay? They, they are. Yeah, this person sees you in this empress energy. You're the empress here, okay? You we do have the empress and the emperor. The emperor came out first. So this per you all are divine counterparts here. Okay? So this can be your twin flame or your soulmate here. This can be. But you all are divine counterparts. Y'all are. And that's why the connection seems so intense and so strong. Like I feel like this person could have tried to like brush it off. But it's like no matter who they were involved with sexually or who they went towards, they could not stop thinking about you. Like they, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you open up this person's heart. Like they like, golly, I don't care who I have sex with, who I'm involved with. I cannot stop thinking about this person. 
that's because you all are divine counterparts you all will it's like you all gonna always have that deep connection even if you were somebody else that's something that's just never gonna go away when you meet your twin or your soulmate that connection between you two never goes away even if you were somebody else you all are still gonna be connected okay you it's crazy but it's true you could be in a whole marriage with somebody else whole nother relationship you could be having sex with different people you're still gonna think about your person at the end of the day you're gonna be like what the heck but that's just how it is y'all always gonna be connected okay that's why it's so intense and this person couldn't understand you know they could have been in this night of wands energy where it was easy to come in and out of people's life and you know have lustful relationships but with you it was different they could have tried to let you go but they couldn't like they feel attached to you like no matter what they do or where they go no matter how much time pass away you still on this person's mind and in their heart so this person knows that you're their, their divine counterpart they know now at first they didn't know but now they know okay and they're seeing you as this empress here yeah you all um could currently be this queen of wands you're in the public eye i mean of course because you're in your energy you were in the six of wands energy in the six of wands you have public recognition okay so the queen of wands you're someone that's like literally out um, you could be very popular. People can notice you. Okay, you all could be very attractive, um, very outspoken. Even if you're not a fire sign, I feel like you could be very fiery and whatever. Um, but a lot of people could love you and be admired about you. And this is how this person is looking at you. Yeah, you all could be single at this current time. Okay, I feel like you all could be focused on your coins, that dollar dollar, mighty dollar, okay? <laughs> you all could be very spiritual too, okay? You all could get a lot of messages from spirit. I feel like with this situation here, I don't feel like this person told you too much. So you had to literally rely on your intuition to find out things about this person because they were so secretive. But I feel like everything that you know is accurate because spirit told you everything that was going on behind the scenes okay so this person couldn't know that you know these things so they know that they have to come in and be honest with you this person could know that you're spiritual because like on this nine of pentacles card this woman laughing at this bird that she got on her hand right there and you know birds are messengers so this person knows that you get messages from the divine they know you tapped in this person know that they can't come in and just tell you know anything because you gonna know you got a close connection to the spiritual realm and they know you talk to them to them spirits and they know they gonna tell you <laughs> okay but yeah this person want to come work with you honey okay i'm even getting like this person could even want to come work with you on a business level too like a a lover's a love situation but also like work together for some of y'all okay it's what i just seen too yeah, this person with this two of cups, this person definitely want to come um, start a new connection with you. This person definitely see you as their divine counterpart. With this eight of pentacles and this king of pentacles here, this person could not only want to come in and put the work in and the effort in this connection now, but I feel like this person could have maybe lost some money or something went on behind the scenes during this separation. This person could have uh had some problems in their money or something or their stability and this person is with this eight of pentacles is trying to work on getting back stable or how they were at first so they can get back into this king of pentacles status here yeah but i feel like once this person work on whatever it is behind the scenes they're gonna take action with this king of wands you know the king of wands is all about taking action and i feel like this person is going to come in like once they get things together behind the scenes here yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this person could have definitely been in a marriage or some type of relationship here. Maybe this person went through a divorce or something like that with, with that queen of swords or whoever that was there. Or they, you know, or they had a breakup. Like I said, if they wasn't married, they was in a relationship with somebody, boyfriend, a girlfriend with somebody, okay? And, you know, maybe this person lost out on some money or something, but this person is trying to work on their finances or whatever this is. So they can be back in this King of Pentacles energy here so they can come towards you. 
But once they get things together behind the scenes, they're going to take action with this King of Wands. Because this person want you. They want, they see forever with you. Okay? But that is all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Bye.